And right now, protesters are gathering at the nation's capital, protesting this year's results of the presidential election. Our Kelly Peltier joins us live now with the latest. Kelly, what do you know? That's right, Brooke. Those press protesters have been at the nation's capital since early this afternoon when Congress met to count and confirm the electoral college vote won by President-elect Joe Biden. President Trump supporters could be seen breaking the glass to windows and going inside of the Capitol. The Associated Press confirmed that one person was shot and killed during the protests. Their condition the president sent out this tweet saying, quote, I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. No violence. Remember, we are the party of law and order. Respect the law and our great men and women in blue. Thank you. And now these are some of the other events that we know happened this afternoon at the U.S. Capitol. Members of Congress inside House chamber told by police to put on gas masks after tear gas was dispersed in the Capitol Rotunda. Lawmakers were told to evacuate from the U.S. Capitol after protesters breached security and entered the building. Police with guns drawn watch as protesters try to break into the House chamber at the U.S. Capitol. And President-elect Joe Biden also addressed the nation this afternoon. The scenes of chaos at the Capitol do not reflect a true America, do not represent who we are, what we're seeing are a small number of extremists dedicated to lawlessness. This is not dissent. It's disorder. It's chaos. It borders on sedition. And it must end now. The president-elect also called for President Trump to make a statement calling for the end to the protest, which the president did by video, calling the election fraudulent and that we have to have peace and to go home. And we also heard from a number of Kansas lawmakers today in response to the protests on the U.S. Capitol. We heard from Senator Moran, Representative Jake LaTurner, Tracy Mann, Ron Estes, Sharice Davids, as well as Roger Marshall all on Twitter today. And if you want, you can read their full statements on our website at KSNT.com. From the studio, Kelly Peltier, KSNT News.